Hi, everyone. This is a brief introduction to an industrial short course on smart production systems. I am Semyon Mirkov, an engineering professor at the University of Michigan and one of the course instructors. Smart production systems are manufacturing systems capable of self-diagnosing and autonomously designing continuous improvement projects with rigorously predicted results. An example, an automotive body shop is capable of producing 60 jobs per hour, but producing on a regular basis just 50. The operations manager wanted to increase this throughput by 10%. That leads to two questions. The first one, what are the major causes of production losses? And second, how they can be recovered to produce 55 jobs per hour. If answers to these questions are provided by a device rather than a human, the production system is smart. Recently, we have developed such a device and call it Programmable Manufacturing Advisor, PMA for short. It consists of three units. The first one is information unit that constructs and maintains a mathematical model of the production system at hand. The second is analytics unit, which calculates performance characteristics and evaluates efficacy of various potential continuous improvement scenarios. These calculations are carried out based upon the theory of production system engineering that we have developed here at the University of Michigan during the last 30 years. And the last unit, optimization unit, calculates the optimal steps for continuous improvement. Programming this PMA and implementing it on a production system makes it smart. And here is a demonstration of uh, the uh, implementation of a unit of this sort. This is the structure of PMA-based SPS software. Clicking on the systems block, lists all the production systems for which the PMA, Programmable Manufacturing Advisor, has been programmed. For example, selecting LED street light manufacturing system and clicking on the information unit provides the mathematical model of the system that we consider. Click on an analytic unit provides four outputs, performance analysis, system diagnostics, what if analysis, and finally system health. It shows that the production system is producing now 35 jobs per hour, with having losses of almost 40% since nominal throughput is 57 jobs per hour. The losses from the machines are 17 jobs per hour, and due to buffers is 4.7 jobs per hour. Clicking now at managerial input allows the manager to introduce scenarios of potential continuous improvement. For example, increasing the throughput to 39 jobs per hour by the means of reducing the downtime at most three machines by 20%. Another scenario may be, again, increasing the throughput by the same roughly 10%, 39 jobs per hour, by the means of reducing both downtime and cycle time of at most three machines by, say, 20 and 25 percent, respectively. One more scenario may be adding a skilled trade to the system, meaning what kind of maximum throughput we can obtain by adding additional a person for servicing the system meaning reducing the downtime of all machines appropriately. And for technical reasons, we add additional information in this block. Saving this scenario, we now have three of them. Clicking on optimization unit allows us to see which of the scenarios can or cannot be implemented to obtain the res desired result. It shows that the first scenario cannot be implemented. The throughput will be close to what we need, 39 joules per hour, but a little bit less. Second scenario is implementable, and we obtain indeed 39.42 joules per hour by the means 
of decreasing the downtime and cycle time of appropriate machines indicated manner in appropriate manner. Finally, the last scenario built, b brings the throughput to 46 rather than 36 jobs per hour, meaning about 28-29% improvement. Now the manager can select which of the scenarios he would like to have implemented. For example, adding additional skill trade. Submitting for implementation, after the imp implementation is carried out, the manager can see what kind of improvement can be obtained introducing these changes. And we see that indeed actual improvement will be seven jobs per hour, which is about 25, 26% improvement. No devices similar to PMA are available today. The goal of this course is to introduce the participants to the field of smart production systems and its connection with Industry 4.0. In addition, to provide working knowledge of PMA and, most importantly, enable the participants to take part in the design, implementation, and operation of production systems on the factory floor.